Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT9. I'm the Explosive One. Let's start it out. Boo. Start it out. All right, TNT. Start what is your opinion hey. on pranking people? Hey, I think, uh, well, hmm. You know, it's funny because April Fool's Day was just yesterday, actually. Yeah, yeah. And we Spoiler didn't, alert, we record them early. We didn't do any, uh, we didn't do any pranking. No. Because we're... We're also grown and work. <laughs> We're up at different times. There's no time to prank. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I believe that pranking is for the youth, and it should it should stay there. I think it has its. All its, right. Like punked was the good yeah, shit. Yeah. All right. Have you ever pulled a really good prank on someone? No. 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 Not nothing elaborate. You've never been the pranker. I've definitely <clears throat> pranked people, but usually I just lie. Or just be dumb stuff or something stupid yeah, like, oh, yeah. ha ha, I hid your sandwich from you. Yeah, I've never put, like, styrofoam over the toilet seat. That's not what I meant. Saran wrap yeah, over yeah, the right, toilet right, seat. I yeah, I, uh, yeah, I'm not a big prank. I don't like pranking people. Like, And here's the thing, man. I think what it is is I'm very much a, like, I don't. I try not to do things to people that I don't want be done to me. Mm. And, like, not that I can't take a joke, mm. but, like, dude, just don't. Quit effing messing with me. Let me just do my thing. It is very hard. And this is, this is the reason why I would never prank, because I don't have the eye for it. But it is very hard to construct a very uh, good prank that isn't, like... Malicious? Uh, vicious in nature, I guess. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, you can prank a person well and not hurt their feelings or scare them or just, you know, just, like, make them confused or something. Like, oh, ha-ha, so, you got me. Yeah, like, a moment of confusion, I'm game for that. Make a moment of confusion for me, you know, that's cool. Right. But as long as it's not but like, I'll you tell know, you what, you pee in my Mountain Dew bottle, you switch out my toothpaste with something prank, else. That's just a prank, bro. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> just, just a, a prank. Just, oh, I just drank your pee. Oh, that's funny. Ha-ha-ha-ha. Mm. <laughs> like, I feel like... Anyone who pranks someone, even if it's like a minuscule prank, mm -hmm. if they want to hit you afterwards, like you should, you should not be surprised. And that's the thing: if you if you do a joke that uh, can scare people, there's a good chance you might get hit or shot. I was just watching on Reddit the other day. There was some. Uh, there was like a a magician who made like a evil clown appear out of nowhere. Yeah, and like. The clown starts like uh, walking, approaching this guy. He like he asked the guy for a lighter, and he made the evil yeah, clown right, right. And the guy pulls a gun. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's what happens. Yeah, right. <laughs> like that's exactly. what happens. Like I've definitely like tried to jump scare someone just being a jerk. Like when I was, especially when I was more of a little kid. Mm -hmm. Like you know, that is like one of the most harmless planks you can do. Like yeah, do they do they jump? Do they go ah f you you son of? A but like if if they would have turned around and slapped me afterwards, I would have been like. Yeah, I, I was mean, talking about a guy could keep his wife's name out my mouth. I've, <laughs> I've <laughs> gone, I've gone to a haunted house myself, and at <laughs> halfway through the first haunted house, they were like, "Hey, look, you can't throw punches." <laughs> I'm like, "You can't be scaring me then." <laughs> like you came here to get scared, sir. I'm like, "No." <laughs> I came here with my girl. I didn't want to be here. I came here to try to get some vagina, and now you're messing it up because I'm looking like a bitch. Yeah, like I am very surprised that the kind of pranks they pulled on Punk. That someone didn't slap at the slap the ish out of Ashton Kutcher mm. because they were doing stuff like yeah they'd have people's cars towed like all sorts of stuff mm -hmm. like but it was really funny because they were doing it to entitled celebrities who would be like do you know who I am I'm and you're like oh, this oh you I love hearing do you know who I am oh yeah Jesus dude. like yeah do you know who, yes sir we know that you're <laughs> that you're a, a giant d bag absolutely do you, do you know who so, I am yeah like have you ever have you ever seen a prank pulled on someone like you didn't do it yourself but have you ever seen someone do anything good nah, by chance dude, not, not not nothing short of like what I've watched on YouTube <laughs> pranks in the hood yeah you get shot <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess yeah. all gas no brakes technically pranks. No, because he's like I feel like that's kind it's of not a prank. A prank. And see, I it's a well constructed I, prank if I, it is. Because I think what the difference is, and what I like about it too, is like you're just asking them questions yeah, and, and letting making, making and, crazy expressions in and, the and letting them make their own bed. <laughs> because you go to some crazy event where you know it's going to have either people who are really drunk or people have really extreme views about like I'm a flat earther or I'm a whatever yeah. and then you just ask them real questions about like about how they feel like tell me why the earth is flat and you just let them make a fool of themselves and then you go oh that sounds interesting tell me more about that like you're just interviewing them you're not being an a-hole like you may not believe Anything they're saying, but you're you're setting them up. 
Oh yeah, it's a setup. Oh, it's a, but. So what is a prank? A setup and a punchline. Yeah, but there's the setup. Me setting you up, and think, your your own voice is the punchline. But I think the prank has a has an expected outcome. If you're just asking someone a question and letting them just like run their own mouth. Hey, if you don't get the expected outcome, then you don't publish it. Because if you just get a person talking about their day at the grocery store, then you're like, yo, this is not content. You're waiting for the person that's going to fall for your prank. That's why. That's why they put. That's why they put the bike with the seat that just comes down and sends a pole up your ass. That's why they put it out there. Not everybody's acceptable to that. Is going to accept that prank. There's one person that's going to take that prank yeah. and get a pole up. His but butt. I think. I think if if you're going to call all gas no bra- breaks a prank, I think it's more of like it's more of a a. Uh, moment in time for the human condition oh, okay. because because you're going to you're going okay. to a nascar race okay and you know there's going to be crazy people there there's going to be normal people there but if you happen to find the people who are going the hell off talking about whatever okay and you're like hey you having fun today and they're just all going off those are the people i'm going to stay and talk to because I mean, they're yeah. the most entertaining they're the most yeah. fun yeah, I think and, and you make a you make a valid point because like uh, the ones who actually do get published because I'm sure even like uh, in the all, all gas no breaks he talks to uh, hundreds of oh people. yeah I'm sure he interviews like fifty people or more and, you yeah, know and then like a, a very staunch few actually get chosen for the videos people are gonna want to ham it up for the camera exactly so. Ex- especially if they're drinking yeah oh if yeah. you see him if you like here's the thing and that's why I love about it and I think it's great <clears throat> if you interview one guy. And say there's a bunch of drunk people, and you interview one guy, and he hams it up a little bit. Everybody is thinking, oh, I got to top that guy. So then you get the next guy, and he hams it up even more. And then you're like, oh, I, I can beat that. And then, and then it just turns into like, yeah, it's real, but who knows what. But they're still, they're still the ones who are making their own bed, dude. You're just yeah, asking yeah. the question. Let them yeah. ham it up all they want. Yeah. And, like, and, and honestly, if, I, if somebody ever stopped me. I'm putting a character on. <laughs> right. I'm going dead in improv mode. Oh, absolutely. Because people are like, they see people interviewing people and they're like, oh, I want to be on camera. So the people want to be on the news. Oh, yeah, I saw it. It was real good. They came up here and I didn't know what the hell was going on. I was like, get the hell out of here, dude. You didn't even see anything. You just want to be on the news. Fine. Yeah, you just want to be on the news. Right, exactly. And, yeah. like, and that's why I think he changed his name from All Gas No Breaks to Channel 5 News because now he's like, Andrew Callahan with Channel 5 News because uh, now it's more legit, you know? Uh, like, <laughs> um, But, yeah, it's uh, – I, I don't like pranking people, but I will let people make their own bed. Like, yeah. It, it's definitely a setup, though. Yeah, because I'm not going to be ignorant to you and make you look like a fool. You're mm-hmm. going to make yourself look like a fool. Because you're, you're really looking for the person who's the most genuine in their own, like, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You're looking for the, heart, the hot take that's just like, what are you talking about? Right. And you're convinced in your own mind that this is real. And that's why you go to those those events that are, like, flat earth conventions. Like, or you go to, like, comic cons. You talk to the people who are all dressed up, yeah. like... Like, yeah. Oh, so I see you're dressed up in costume. Why don't you tell me about that? And then they're ju- they're just happy to tell somebody about their costume, oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. And like you're like, you sound like a complete insane person. <laughs> and you're like, you love it. Hey, good deal. So, so, so Jonas wants to go to Burning Man. I would. Yeah, we could go, dude. I would go. We'd go to the uh, medieval fair. Interviews at Burning Man, I, dude. I would definitely <laughs> medieval fair, Burning Man. Yeah, I any would. of that, dude. I would, a, we I can do a docu series. We can edit, get the uh, videos edited. Start finding, uh, start finding weird events around Austin, like whatever, dude. I, I would love to go down to like the gay pride parade. Talk to people down there, dude. That would be fun. Like, dude, I think it would be. We're not pranking the gays. We're not pranking anybody. I don't want to prank the gays. I just want to talk to people and let them be themselves. People say funny things. It doesn't have to be incriminating. Sometimes people are just entertaining being That's themselves, That's and fair. you're like, That's oh, fair. More, more power to you, buddy. I will have to say is that gay guys are pretty entertaining. Oh, I, dude, I have definitely like any like people that I've known that I've hung out with or met through other people that were like gay dudes. Mm-hmm. They are some of the most entertaining people that I've like hung out with. Like, yeah. I think it's because they have a I don't give an f mentality because they're like I am who I am. I don't care. Yeah, and it's and those are the people I like to hang out with anyway. Yeah, I, so, I respect it. I respect yeah, absolutely. It. Like, I am more down. Like, I don't care what you are, but if you if if you own it, like, 
I mean, unless you're like a complete racist neo Nazi crazy person. <laughs> no, like, own that. Yeah, own it, bro. <laughs> own it. <laughs> yeah, own oh, it. you only want to own it at certain points in the in the day. You don't want to own it all the time. Right, exactly. Yeah, so. okay. That's but, uh, that's awful funny yeah. how that works. So, anyways, that's all time for today's episode. Go to crazytown.com and subscribe for uh Jonas. See you in turn. Uh, we are out.